Right now is your very last chance to get the Austin John Plays Ugly Sweater for this holiday season. Pre-orders are going to be ending within 24 hours of this video going live. What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and tonight it's going to be Dialga and Palkiel with appearing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> Now this is coming out right before the DLC and you don't have to pre-order the DLC or anything else in order to have this. This is just going to be available for everyone who has the base game. Let's go ahead and load up all of the information. First thing that surprised me, this is not a seven star raid. These are five star raids. This is going to be much more doable than I thought it would be. All right, so Dialga and Palkia. Dialga is going to be natively available in Scarlet and Palkia is natively available in Violet. Now, even though this is not a seven star raid, you can still only catch the Pokemon one time. Both are going to be a terror type of dragon. Dialga is steel and dragon. Palkia is water and dragon by default. Level 75. They are shiny locked. They do not have a mark and there is a catch limit of one. All right, both of them are going to be having the ability Telepathy, which Telepathy, this Pokemon does not take damage from attacks made by its allies. Okay, that's not too important or anything. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Uh, they both have beneficial natures, quiet and modest. Four flawless IVs. HP multiplier is 35. Scale is set to neutral. You only catch one. Okay, moves. Both of them have Draco Meteor. Fire Blast, Dialga has Earth Power and Steel Beam, Palkia has Thunder and Hydro Pump. Shield activation is going to be at 80% of HP remaining or 75% of time remaining. Extra actions, these are very different. Dialga uses Trick Room at the very beginning of the match and uses Stealth Rocks at the very beginning of the match. It resets the player's stat changes at 80%, resets its own stat changes at 75%, uses Iron Defense at 50% HP remaining, and resets its own stats at 50% remaining. Palkia uses Gravity at 99% of time remaining. For five turns, evasiveness of all Pokemon is multiplied by 0.6, so attacks are gonna land more often. And it also uses Rain Dance right at the beginning. Resets your stats at 80%, resets its own stats at 75, uses Rain Dance at half health remaining, and resets its own stats again at 45% remaining. Okay, these are both pretty in-depth. I thought this was gonna be open and shut. What am I gonna use for these? First, we're going to be taking a look at Palkia, which is going to be from Pokemon Violet, which a majority of the players are going to be having that. Dragon is going to be double stab. It has Draco Media, Thunder, Fire Blast, and Hydro Pump. It starts the battle with Rain Dance, and it's going to reset your own stat changes at 80% of its HP remaining. So because of that, I don't think Azumarill is going to be the best choice just because you're going to lose that plus six and you're going to be at half health already. Fluttermane might work here because Palkia doesn't have a steel move to hit fairy types. This is the same Fluttermane that we used for Charizard, which is max special attack, max special defense, and the last four in HP with Draining Kiss, Calm Mind, Fake Tears, and Moonblast. Here is our Palkia. Let's go ahead and try out Fluttermane to see how she's going to be doing. It's going to be doing, it's going to be doing. I gave it a pixie plate, which boosts up the power of fairy type moves. We'll see if that is beneficial, because we already have a health recovery move. Shiny Fluttermane with the lunchtime mark. Yeah, that's, that's our big dragon boy. <laughs> and Intimidate, that's not going to be helpful. Here's the gravity, so now it's Hydro Pumps and it's Fire Blasts and it's Thunders are going to be hitting all the time. And I think we should start with a Calm Mind. Hydro Pump does minimal damage. That's the, the 25 level difference makes a big difference. Also, good job with that glare there, Dund Sparse. I'm going to pop a second Calm Mind here. He got fully paralyzed, that's handy. And let's go for Draining Kisses. So when he's down to 80% health, he's gonna be resetting our stats. He got paralyzed again. Palkia used Fire Blast. That did like seven damage. <laughs> His shield is up. He nullified stat changes to our side, so now's a great time for us to go for the Calm Mines. Yeah, these fire blasts are doing absolutely nothing. 
A second calm mine. Here's a thunder. I don't think that actually took any damage, but we did get paralyzed and that might suck. Gonna go for a third draining kiss and this is gonna bring me up to my full terror charge, even though it did no damage whatsoever. Oh, but I fully recovered from that, cool. And now let's go ahead, Terastalize and Moonblast. If you happen to have the Pixelate Sylveon with Hyper Beam, that, that, uh, that Sylveon might work as well for this. All you need is just a strong fairy type. How's the Moonblast gonna do? Really good damage. Okay, yeah, we got this. Also, a Covert Cloak might have been handy just to protect against Paralysis. Although, he's been paralyzed more times than I have, thanks to Dunsparce's- Oh, I just got paralyzed. De Dunsparce's Glare and Umbreon Synchronize, so I'm not mad at those things. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be just fine here. And what, we need just one more hit for the GG's? And now you can go ahead and catch Palkia in almost every Pokeball. Oh, what what do I want him to be in? Not a Beast Ball. I kind of like the idea of him in a Love Ball. And that's a GG. We got ourselves TM169, which is Draco Meteor. You only get one for Palkia. You do get one for Dialga. 50 Terra Shards for Water, only one time. Additional Dragon Terra Shards, and just a few random items here and there, including 10% for Calciums, PP Ups, Bottle Caps, normal stuff from there. How well we did in that makes me think that even if I had the same Fluttermane to take on Dialga, who has Steel Beam, like the strongest Steel move in the game, we might still just win. It might be a little bit sweatier, might be. Also, I don't know how it's going to work because Steel Beam traditionally takes half of your health. So does that mean that it's going to take 170th of Palkia's, of Dialga's health? Oh, I forgot that I didn't get rid of the game music in this one. It's been a long time since I heard the raid music. It's not bad. I remember it being worse. Okay, here's Dialga's Trick Room. As soon as we start, let's go for two Calm Minds right up front. It launches a Fire Blast. Still doesn't really do a lot. We got a Defense Cheer for us. That's pretty nice. There's the Stealth Rock, so if we get KO'd, we come back and we lose, what, quarter or eight eighth of our health? Also, I have a D Dunsparce again, and he paralyzed him again, so thanks. Gonna launch a Draining Kiss on him. He got paralyzed again. Okay, that's some nice damage. I'm not mad at that at all. He got rid of the stat changes on our side. Let's go ahead for Calm Minds. Three of them. Here's the Steel Beam. How much is that gonna do? Oh! It actually did a good amount of damage. Okay, that's what I thought it was gonna do. But we did live it. Do we live this? Can I get a Draining Kiss off? Nope, Trick Room is still active and we got KO'd. Okay. Okay, so we're back now. Trick Room is over. I could get the Calm Mind up. And now is he going to be going for... Why didn't he do... Steel Beat? I don't know. That's so inconsistent. I'm going to go for a Draining Kiss. Even though I'm only at plus one. Another random Fire Blast. And then he chose Earth Power for some reason. So I'm starting to think because he's a five-star raid and not a seven-star raid, the bosses don't do the proper calculations to be like, okay, well, yeah, this move is gonna be more damaging, so I'm gonna choose it every time. I think it just goes by level one or level two AI, and it's just going to randomly pick a move. Cause like, you guys saw Steel Beam wreck me, and he hasn't done, he hasn't done it since. I think Fluttermane is gonna be fine here. Yeah, I did get knocked out once, that's fine. Your RNG might be the same, it might be better, it might be worse. But the fact that there's a very good chance you already have this Fluttermane that you traded for, for the Charizard raids, or maybe even the Sylveon would work for this. We have three boosts, let's go for our Terastalize and our Moonblast. And how much are we gonna do? Oh, very nice damage. And because his shield was down to Dunsparce's glare worked and he got paralyzed, here's a Steel Beam. And we live it just fine because we got the Calm Minds up. I think it was really just that one turn that he reset all of our stats and did Steel Beam. That's the only reason I got KO'd. 
So if your stars align that unfortunately, yeah, you'll be in the same position, but you should be good. This isn't like my Hisuian Samurott from, what, three weeks ago, which yes, now I realize how lucky I got that I had two Intimidators with me to bring his attack down. No, this is, this is much, much simpler RNG. You're gonna be just fine. And I want him in a heavy ball because it looks beautiful in that. And there you go. That's how you're gonna be able to take down five-star Dialga and Palkia in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right before the DLC releases. If there's any alternative strategies that you found work even better, leave them in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Man, they see me shining like I got the charm. Stay strapped, got that jet ball in my palm. Felt from the sky, guess I'm the chosen one. And if you need to know how, check out Austin John. Champion flow, flow. Yeah, I got that champion flow, flow.